<clears throat> so today we're going to talk about a discovery in Ye at Yale uh, over the past few years. They're finding what may be the trigger uh, to diabetes within a nucleus called uh, the ventromedial nucleus of the brain. Uh, if you want to see the, um, uh, well, the title is glucose control switch in the brain is key to both types of diabetes. Now, if you want to find this, I'll put the, uh, the link in the comments. It's in Medical Express, uh, I believe, July uh, of, of, of 2014. <clears throat> what they discovered is something we'll talk about in just a few minutes. Um, but before we do, a brief uh, introduction. Ford Brewer, F-O-R-D, Brewer, B-R-E-W-E-R, -E PrevMed, um, Heart Attack, Stroke, Dementia, Disability Prevention. So, um, just a reminder, wh why diabetes? Well, if you look at it, uh, diabetes appears to be the cause, uh, or, or insulin resistance, mild forms of diabetes, often undiagnosed, appears to be the cause of at least uh, 70 to 80 percent of heart attacks and strokes, maybe up to 100 percent of um, dementia. So, if insulin resistance or our inability to uh, to metabolize carbohydrates is so important. Again, you'll see a lot of videos in this on this channel about diabetes because we're about preventing the disability associated with those uh, killer diseases. Now, <clears throat> back to Yale and their discovery. They discovered a um, an enzyme called prolyl endopeptidase, and that helps the ventromedial nucleus measure glucose in the brain. Uh, let's back up, make a few connections here. <clears throat> I did a recent video on a uh, neuroendocrinology approach to diabetes. Uh, basically showed this um, preserved brain. This is the cortex, the, uh, the part we think with. The cor uh, corpus callosum, the part that connects the two sides of the brain. And this area called the midbrain includes the hypothalamus, the thalamus, and... Uh, pituitary gland, the pineal body. The pineal body, which uh, these are all neurovegetative, stress, appetite, uh, sex, sleep related uh, items. And so, for example, the pineal gland in the hypothalamus is what releases melatonin to help us go to sleep each night. Now, why all this focus on neurovegetative signs? Well, <clears throat> Some of the neurovegetative signs, again, have to do with how much we eat and how much uh, glucose, how many carbohydrates we eat. Both of those appear to have major input from this part of our brain. We'll get back to that in, uh, as we get a little bit deeper in terms of the anatomy. Um, <clears throat> in the previous uh, discussion on neuroendocrinology, uh, we talked about how close the uh, amygdala, uh, the emotion nucleus of the brain is, and how many connections there obviously are between the amygdala, the hippocampus, which creates memory, um, and the, um, the thalamus, which creates, uh, which controls the, uh, the endocrine response of the, uh, of the body. Now, this is orientate, orienting us to where we are in the body. Now, let's go to another picture <clears throat> in terms of the ventromedial nucleus. If you cut, uh, let's look at this one first. If you cut that, remember that ventro, that medial, that uh, midbrain area. Again, the cortex is up here, um, then the corpus callosum then the thalamus, hypothalamus, pituitary. If you take that and turn that sideways like this and cut it, what we call sagittally, I think that would be a sagittal section. Um, again, just like cutting down through here. You'll see the components of the, uh, components of the midbrain. Um, <clears throat> this is the hypothalamus. Here's a larger view. Cut down through the midbrain here on these sections. And uh, 
here's the corpus callosum. Here's the uh, hippocampus and the uh, thalamus, hypothalamus. Here is the ventromedial area, ventro meaning below, and medial being closer to the midline. So you start to get some orientation there. Uh, there was a study that, that took a look at this specific nucleus in mice. The ventromedial, in other words, down and towards the center, and the ventrolateral nucleus down uh, down into the to the outside. Interestingly enough, on that study, you see that they're looking at appetite as well, and what they have is uh, mice associated with it's lateral hypothalamic syndrome. In other words, this this um, lateral hypothalamic uh, nucleus. Uh, creates a satiety, uh, S-A-T-I-E-T-Y, in other words, I'm full, kind of effect. The ventromedial nucleus, however, creates an effect saying, I'm hungry. So therefore, if you get what we call the lateral hypothalamic syndrome, which they create and created in these mice, you get a skinny mouse. If you, if you get a ventromedial hypothalamic syndrome, you get an overweight mouse. It's eating too much. Now, back to the original study that we mentioned. In Yale in 2014, they discovered in the ventromedial nucleus um, <clears throat> an enzyme. And that enzyme, uh, prolyl endopeptidase, I'll put that in the comments as well, is part of the hypothalamus known as the ventromedial nucleus. It sets in a series of steps in motion that control glucose levels in the blood. So, uh, the ventromedial nucleus contains cells that are glucose sensors. To understand the, the role, they, uh, they worked with mice that were genetically engineered with low levels of the enzyme. And th this is important because they said, look, if we can begin to understand how this enzyme measures glucose in the blood, how it's created, how it, uh, the enzyme is uh, the impact of uh, aging on this enzyme, then maybe we can start making some major progress in terms of type 2 diabetes. Thank you for your uh, interest.